Hi everybody, it's Dr. Magnifico from Jairsville and Pavley.com. This is Moxie. She's about an 11 year old pointer. She has a very astute dad who noticed that she was acting a little abnormally today and then all of a sudden her stomach looked like it was distending. So we will get a picture of her from the side and above. But this is a really, really important point. You need to know your pet and you need to understand what normal versus abnormal is. And then in some cases you need to understand what worst case scenario would be. She is a case of worst case scenario. She all of a sudden had a stomach that got very big. Um, in general, if someone calls me and say, my dog's stomach looks really big, I'm going to say to them, it's one of two things. It's either fluid, fluid can be blood or it can be you know, fluid from having um, a heart and, or lung defect um, or a couple of other things can cause it, or it can be air. Air is just as bad as fluid and in some cases, if it's really acute, it can be worse. So she, if you look at her from above, she should have a very narrow abdomen. So normally she's really narrow. The diagnostic test for bloat is you get this percussion. So she sounds like a basketball. Um, she's, her stomach lives right here and her stomach is full of air. So she is going immediately to the ER. Two things are gonna happen at the ER. They're gonna take an x-ray so they're gonna confirm it. We do a lateral x-ray right, with the right side down and we're looking for what's called a double bubble. The next thing they're gonna do is they're gonna put a needle in here and they're gonna decompress her stomach. We've gotta get the air out of there. After that, typically I sedate them, I put them under anesthesia, and I pass a stomach tube to see if the tube will pass. As long as the stomach isn't torsed, um, you know, their prognosis is much better. If it tours, meaning if it distends with air and then it twists, that's an immediate surgical intervention. You've got to go in there and untwist it. Sometimes other organs can get involved, but this is a very painful very acute emergency. She's gonna go right now to the ER and we will keep you posted. I would expect that the ER is gonna be, you know, $2,000 or so. Here it's about $1,000, um, but here's no other option. I know, you know, kind of at home, you wanna decompress the stomach and in some cases that will help, but you still have to go in there and figure out what's going on. After that, we tack the stomach to the wall so it won't happen again. So we're gonna wish little Moxie well, and um, I only see this like once or twice a year, but it is an acute emergency. Go right to your vet. Go right to the ER. Don't wait overnight. Don't, you know, don't stop and do anything. Just go right to the ER. If you have any questions, you can find me here at Jerry's Bullbet or probably.com. Thanks.